We had a new superintendent, and he was also very um, proactive in terms of what he wanted us to do. And we gave him the results of the community assessment survey, and his charge to us then was find a curriculum. So the team began the process of finding the curriculum, and I will say we struggled again because we tried to do that in a large group. And that was impossible, <laughs> impossible. So we decided to split it. We had a lot, you know, School Health Advisory Council doesn't just work on teen sexuality and teen pregnancy. There's a, we, we work under the eight components of the Coordinated School Health Program. So there are lots of other areas that we needed to be focusing our time and attention and we didn't just want to just do teen pregnancy. So we had a subcommittee. And the subcommittee was charged then with looking at curriculum and we looked at several different programs and we just sequentially went through those in long, long <laughs> evening meetings so that everybody could see the information, we could have good discussion about it before we actually made the recommendation. I think once the group saw It's Your Game, Keep It Real, they really liked it because it was up to date, um, it was dynamic, it was computers, there's animation there but it's teacher driven and they really liked the components the way that it was designed i will say that it was free that was very attractive as well so and they knew that they, they understood that we needed to have a program that was accountable that we would be able to measure results and why something that's evidence-based was going to be in our best interest so long story short that's the program that we ended up recommending to the school board. But the cool thing was, um, we, as the School Health Advisory Council, we well, the subcommittee went back to the School Health Advisory Council, and it wasn't a unanimous vote to accept that, but it was voted to accept it and recommend it to the school board.